for us, Stevie? Now we can get nice double stop. Just let that thing go. Up stroke. This is Dave Nasty with NextLevelGuitar.com and today what we're going to talk about is spicing up those pentatonics. You know, we just can't do that enough and there's so much that we can do with it. We'll talk about some uh, different players, Johnny Winter, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and try to creep a little bit of that into our playing so we can just add that much more to our everyday. So yes people, E minor pentatonic, that's the theme of my day, that's what we're going to go through. And we're gonna use one of these really cool jam tracks that we have here at Next Level. Hey everybody, you see that link below? Click on that link that you see right down there on your screen. If you want a lesson that is not available on YouTube and is completely free and comes with an ebook, an ebook that has all kinds of chords and scales in it and things that will enhance your playing and an everyday level. So again, click on that link. You'll get a free lesson that's not on YouTube with a coinciding ebook and you'll find out all kinds of great information about all of us. Thanks so much. For all you people seeking bands, but yet you can't get out of your house and you need a jam track, this is where you find them. NextLevelGuitar.com. I'm using track one from our blues tape. So this is E minor pentatonic. Let's map out our shape really, really quick. <laughs> feeling I'm going to use a little bit of this one over here so I'm going to do the last form of the pentatonic. I'm going to use the second form of the pentatonic and I think we'll start right there for now. So the thing that I want to talk about is adding a little bit of quickness to your playing. A lot of times when you start to explore these motions or this style some of the things that people will do can be kind of simple and stripped down. Okay, so I've got my jam track rolling. Let's talk about how to spice up our pentatonic here and get some better motions in it. A little bit of Stevie Ray Vaughan, a little bit of Johnny Winter. So, typically, if you're playing and you might do this kind of motion, which is a great lick, just starting here. I'm gonna add this to it. So, what is that? We can even play it slow with the track, it'll sound just as cool. Starting with my E, downstroke, upstroke on my G. There we go. One, two, three, four, five notes. Again. Little bend there to end it. Kind of a half step thing. Let's take this and move it along our scale shape. What if I went... Whoa, what is all of that in there? Let's break that down. What I did right there was, is I took that idea of this lick. And I'm gonna move it through my scale shape. Really, really easy. Very, very Johnny Winter in style. He would always have those really nice, quick flurries in his playing. A lot of them were done with hammer-ons and pull-offs. So you get a nice lick. We started with this, and that made me think of this. From there, we went. Okay, so. That's kind of a nice little run. Let's call that a perfect example to do. And one isolated thing that you can start with within your pentatonic scale. So we don't feel like we're spreading ourselves too thin today. We'll call that the first one. Nice lick right there. Now, this kind of motion. Simple, very effective. Come out of that with a nice bend. That works really, really great. A lot of times when you're playing blues licks, you want to apply a decent amount of space between everything. And sometimes you can have these quick flurry notes and then just stop and let the band play and kind of let things sit for a minute and decide what to do next. And these are great runs just for that. Again, we have. 
then we're gonna do this. For all you uh, people out there that like to use their pinky, you get your pinky out up there to that A note. Now, some of you might be thinking, Johnny Winter never did that. Oh boy, do your research. I'm telling you, you can find a bunch of great stuff with that guy's playing. Not only was he an insane slide player, but that guy had some licks and he had some good movement. A lot of nice hammer on pull offs. Nice and aggressive run. There's another one, kind of along the same lines as what we just did before, but I picked some of those notes in there. So I'm going to go like this. A little bit Eric Clapton ish. Some things that have also been mentioned in previous lessons as well here on the website. So we have. That's going to be our basic motion. We move through this whole shape. That is a great one right there. So again, we have very Johnny Winter. Any snippet of that works really, really great. So, again, pick, pick, hammer on, pull off, hit that A. Finish it there, resolve that D up to an E, get a nice bend in there. Again. Nice run there. Let's shift gears. We mentioned Steve Ray Vaughan. Let's talk about something he might do in this position that would be a little bit faster. We're going to slide in from here. This is a great one to help develop speed, and it's just a, a nice lick that has your third finger sliding around. I'm playing D, E, G, A, sliding. You can get that flat five in there really slowly. So we have a nice little run. Mixing styles of the two players together right there. We took this one and mixed it with this one. Just kind of breaking it up a little bit. Now, how can we even just use those two licks in context? Dare I try to hit up this jam track? Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is what we got. You could apply all kinds of different dynamics to that thing. You could start slow. Maybe even miss a couple notes like I did. Still sounds cool. There we go. Saved it. Then we have this one. Another classic Stevie lick. Just do it till you mean it. Kind of with the George Thorogood method of guitar playing. If it's not cool for the first 30 seconds, it'll be cool for the next 30 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna bend up this D. Lay that first finger flat. Get my E and my B. Letting that note go back to pitch after I release my hand on it. Bend up my G on my high string. Okay, I want to mix all these things together. I got a little Johnny Winter. Got some Stevie. A little more Stevie. Now we can get. Great ways to manipulate our playing and we're just slowly creeping into some different movements and trying to speed things up a little bit, all within our shape. Classic Stevie Lick, one more. That's how we're going to start this. There's a lot of people that have done this. I can even say this is a Johnny Winter Lick, this is a Hendrix Lick, this is a Eric Clapton Lick. 
But in this context, we're gonna say we're doing some Stevie and some Johnny Winter. So we have. I'm going. So, let's call this lick number one. And we're gonna call this lick number two. And then we're gonna call this one lick number three. And we'll call this lick number four. What I used to do is I would write down combinations of numbers and I would sign all my licks a number, just as we did. And I'd write them down in different number increments and I would try it and mix them up and see what I liked. So maybe I wanted to start with this one first. Then I would go to this one. Well, let's mix them around. What if we go... That works. What if I wanted to go... Into... And then into... Put those three together. Any of these licks can be made into multiple combinations, and they're just a couple of ideas to get some speed into your playing, but yet a lot of feel and a lot of style. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone down the road of Johnny Winter with a little bit of Stevie Ray Vaughan, some hammer-ons and pull-offs, and ultimately, some ideas that can be isolated at home, practiced freely, along with a really cool jam track, and broaden your playing. So, please go to the website, check out all the information that we got there at the website, nextlevelguitar.com. You can't miss it and you'll get another one, just like this, from me. Thank you so much.